Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, uh, we will learn about the life cycle of gymnosperm and also we will know about the economic importance of gymnosperm. So, pines have an interesting life cycle shown in this figure. It takes two years to complete. Not only seed plants have such a long time span to complete their life history, some flowering plants manage to do it as little as a few weeks. The sporophyte, as in all other vascular plants, group is the dominant photosynthetic part of the cycle remember students when you are holding pine needles in your hand you are holding a sporophyte pass so the pines have a specialized reproductive structure in which meiosis occur the pine tree is the sporophyte generation if you look at the upper left of this picture bearing both male and female cones within the ovule at the base of each scale scale of the female cones uh, diploid spores forming cells undergo meiosis producing haploid spore cells one of which develop into the female gametophytes the female gametophyte in turn producing egg cell in the male cones meiosis produces the male gametophyte uh, fights into the pollen pollen grains carry sperms are dispersed by the wind and land on the scales of the female cone that cone is oleiferous cone remember the pollen growth are pollen tubes that penetrate the female gametophytes and conduct the sperm to the egg the fertilized egg then develop into the embryonic part enclosed in a seed formed from the ovule the seed is eventually released from the cone, germinate, grows into sporophyte trees. Students, to make it more easy, I will explain each step of life cycle of gymnosperm in the coming slide uh, through animation. Okay, uh, let's zoom into the cones of the sporophyte trees. Male and female seed cones grown on adult sporophyte trees. Pollen grains are produced in the male cone and contain the male gametophyte, which consists of only few cells. Okay, uh, pollen grains are then released from the male cone, is carried by the wind uh, to form the female cone where it lands, and then these cones close, and the next year the pollen grains germinate uh, to produce pollen tubes. Uh, that grows into the female gametophytes. The sperm cells uh, form the pollen grains and the egg cells fuse, forming the next generation sporophytes. Then seeds begin to harder inside the female cones. If you have seen a large pine tree, you can realize that there are hundreds or more female cones on a tree. The seed is later released to be transported by wind. As you know that the conifer seeds are wing shaped when they, re when they are released by cones they will float on the wind until they reach to the ground where they will germinate and grow. The seedlings uh, then grows into the sporophytes. In this way, the cycle repeats. The developing embryo occupies the major portion of female gametophytes. A mature embryo consists of cotyledons, which surround shoot apex, uh, shoot hypocotyl, and radical. So, hypocotyl is actually uh, the part of stem of an embryo plants beneath the stalk of seed leaves or cotyledon and directly above the root. Uh, some of the important uses of gymnosperms are conifer trees provide a huge amount of limber for construction, for paper production and for resins. They are used as a fuel and they are used as a medicine, for example, ginkgo biloba, uh, used as a source of food. Uh, gymnosperm plants are widely used as uh, ornamental plants. Uh, so, students, hope you understand it. If you have any a question we will discuss it in our question answer session thank you